Hey everyone, how are you? Today is Monday. It is also um, it is also a civic um, civic holiday here in Ontario and a couple of other provinces throughout Canada as well. So it is a uh, it is a holiday for some of us. And so because of that, you are getting me instead of um, being able to connect with a, uh, an inspiring woman. And so um, today you have me as part of that. So I am Roly Allaire and um, my, um, so Bridging the Gap Wellness is all about um, being able to create a holistic wellness and finding balance. And so, um, so as I said, typically we have um, Mondays, we actually have somebody that we're interviewing. And today we have, um, I, because of the holiday, I didn't have anybody scheduled for being interviewed, but I thought that I would still pop on. So uh, my name is Rolly Allaire and my spirit na name is Gigudo Miguin Quay. And that means talking feather woman. And so I'm a holistic trauma coach and a spirit flame keeper and a soul healer and so i work with women who have experienced trauma um childhood trauma or domestic violence or um or grief um sexual trauma and who've actually lost um parts of their soul and help them achieve wellness hi Brittany, and um and success and so i worked um extensively with uh in psychotherapy for a number of years and so now i um i do this and this is my full time and i actually incorporate my um my years of psychotherapy with um energy work and so that is what it is that i do and so today i actually wanted to hop on and talk about wellness and so um the um the WHO, the World Health Organization, defines wellness as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not, mere, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. So that encompasses a lot of things, and we've been hearing this, this word of um, wellness that's been floating around for some time. And so we hear it in different things. So we hear about um, wellness this and wellness that, and that sometimes has to do with different products or different services and different things. And so I just wanted to be able to kind of touch a little bit about what um, what wellness does mean. So like that is the description of wellness. It is that broad um, broad spectrum of being able to be well in your entire life. And so. Um, and it's um, and wellness is specifically about being able to be well where you're at um, and not in that d disease. Um, so it's that disease prevention um, part of things. And sometimes you'll actually see people that are actually working on their wellness plan that have some um, some disease related um, things so like diabetes or um, obesity or different things and so like that is definitely something that still kind of comes into play and so um, so I just wanted to be able to touch on that because it is such a wide wide range of things that can actually be covered and so one of the things is that I um, I take a holistic wellness um, approach and so what I mean by that is that I actually when I'm actually looking at wellness for me and using it from a holistic approach is being able to use the four dimensions of our being so our mental and our physical and our um, mental physical spiritual and what am I missing mental emotional our emotional our emotional part um, so those are the four aspects of um, have wellness for me in terms of that holistic piece. And without one means that something is not balanced. One of the things is not happening. And so, um, so that is something that is like, that's really, really important for me in terms of um, when I'm looking at it for wellness. So when I started Bridging the Gap Wellness, that was what it was about. It was about being able to have that whole encompassing piece of being able to be well. So having those four components is something that is 
extremely important. And so because if one is not balanced, then all, all parts are not balanced. And so that is extremely, um, so that's extremely important. So like when you look at your um, spiritual, when you're looking at your, um, your mental or your emotional piece, and when one, is, one, of, one of those parts are not working then or off balance then those things you can actually see um, where things shift or when one of those things are shifting because you're actually focusing very specifically on one area then one of the things that happens is that these other ones just kind of go hey what's going on what's happening and so that is something that is extremely important for us to be able to do and I'm playing with my hair because um, it is uh, very humid out today and so my hair is uh, is doing the frizzy um, frizzy hair thing so I've got uh, naturally curly hair and so I'm gonna be playing with my hair and I'm gonna apologize and I'm gonna try really hard not to but it's like sticking to the back of my neck and so um, so that is um, so that's what holistic wellness means for me and that is what it is for when I'm actually bringing in programs or when I am partnering with someone or when I'm doing um, interviews like these things are really important for me to be able to have a balance of these things that are happening so my background is um, mental health and addictions uh, for the most part and so when we're actually targeting and market and and focusing on mental health and addictions these things are um, they're huge and it's not just one part of it and so when I'm working with the women that I do work with um, most often um, there's some sort of traumatic experience that has happened in their lives and these things are um, super important for us to be able to look at because even when you've actually focused and dealt with or addressed something um, that has been traumatic sometimes when things are happening in your life new things start to resurface and these things that you thought oh, okay I've got these things buried I've already worked on these things these things are all gone and I don't have these things happening anymore things start to resurface and things start to come up and so one of the things over the last few weeks is that I've been working on um, I've been working with different um, different coaches and different professionals that will have been doing different programs and one of the things that I have discovered is that things have started to creep back up and things that I thought oh, I've already dealt with that so that fear right so fear is a really huge one and fear of being seen and uh, fear of being known fear of um, being able to connect and so um, when I'm in a group, when I'm doing the things that I need to be doing, then all that is great and I don't have, um, and none of those things happen, right? So hopping on today to do this live, even though I've done lives and I come on um, and do these things is that piece of like, oh, wow, okay, so, Today I'm coming on live by myself after having come on live with some glitches. We've had some glitches with the system. And so next week with uh, with Tiffany, I'm really looking forward to having things run a little bit more smoothly. But like that is part of the um, that is part of the process, right? So I am very, very type A. And so I like things to be able to go exactly the way that they're supposed to. And that doesn't always happen. And we've seen that over the last couple of weeks where I've done my lives and they have not worked the way that I've actually wanted them to. And so, um, so one of the things that has come up for me in this past week is being able to tap into some of those things that I thought that I had resolved, some of those things that I, and it's not that I didn't have them resolved, but as I'm expanding and as I'm growing and as I'm shifting, things start to creep back up into the, uh, out of the woodwork. And so being able to be mindful of that and understanding that. And so um, earlier this week, and I, if you follow my page, then you will have seen the, uh, the couple of posts that I've actually done the before and after um, posts. And so I don't do fitness stuff and I don't do um, diet things. That's not, that's not my thing. Um, but one of the things that I have shared is that I was actually on a journey five years ago of, and it was 
started before that, but like when I actually tracked in this particular case, it was six months of before and after from January till July. And I was doing um, somewhat of an eating plan and somewhat of an exercise plan and doing these different things. And so I had actually lost two pant sizes and it felt good and I had achieved it. And when I actually looked at the comparison, it was like, wow, this is amazing. And so, um, so one of the things that I've started is um, being able to get back on this journey. So starting this morning was the, my first day back on my journey of using this particular program and this particular um, following this particular meal plan. And so for those of you who do know me, being able to um, eat is a challenge. And so I have a lot of food issues, food aversion issues. And so finding things that I can eat, that I like to eat, that um, texture, or that text, uh, texture or um, different things that are actually going on, um, that they actually blend and that they work for me. So I really have to modify any kind of meal plan. So it doesn't matter who puts me on a meal plan or what meal plan that I decide to follow. I don't do shakes. So, um, so going onto a meal program that, um, requires me to be able to do shakes like that just doesn't work for me. I don't do shakes. I don't drink milk products. And so that milky, um, texture, um, that thick, juicy, or like even, I don't even do, um, uh, milkshakes. So like, I don't even like that kind of texture at all and so um, so like when people are like oh well try this product or try that product I really struggle with being able to try those products so being able to find something that works for me is a challenge and so five years ago that program worked for me and I just just didn't continue and I just didn't do the things that I needed to be doing and so I've instead I've extended an invite to any woman who actually wants to join me um, in a um, in a private group that um, and we will actually connect at 6 a.m. Eastern every morning where I will share the program that I've already purchased so I will um, so we're actually working out together using this particular program if people are interested and it's not um, it's not something um, it's not something that I'm selling or that um, you have to invest in it's just your time if you're all interested and if you actually want to be able to be part of that and that is something that I've actually put on because and I did that for me so I did that because I would like to be able to have that um, that buddy system I would like to be able to so when somebody had actually piped up and said hey I'd like to be able to join you on that journey it was like oh fantastic that is amazing and I'd love to be able to do that and so I have a few women that are actually interested and whether they actually join me or not um, on this journey I have no idea but this is something that I am doing I'm doing this as part of my wellness as part of that holistic piece of wellness for me is um, being able to get my um, my physical health in check and so being able to go back down to the sizes that so I'm not back to where I was five years ago but I'm um, I'm up at least one more size and kind of one and a half more sizes I guess so not entirely back to where I was five years ago but being able to do these things um, is important for ourselves and for our self-esteem and our self-esteem taps into our emotions and um, and so it also taps into um, our thoughts of like all these different things that are actually going on so like I said one of the things that I've actually discovered this week is that some of these things have actually kind of crept back up again and part of that has to do with okay so I'm talking about wellness and I'm talking about this whole um, holistic approach and I have used the excuse oh well I've injured my back last year and a couple of years ago before that I actually had injured my um, my foot and then a couple and then the year before that I had actually injured my thigh my um, my shins and so walking was painful so like all these different things that I had going on physically that I used as excuses I could have tried to figure out a different way but it wasn't a priority for me and so things just kind of get locked lapsed and um, sometimes I would actually eat 
um, properly and eat clean and sometimes I wouldn't and sometimes I'd actually try different products and sometimes I wouldn't and not really stay committed to anything and so and so now here I am so five years later this memory comes back up and says hey and it kind of smacks you in the face right so Facebook's awesome that way in terms of um, of the memory shares right so being able to share and um, put out those memories of the things that we're actually doing and so um, so that's where things are at with me and that's what it is that I wanted to be able to share with respect to wellness and um, and holistic wellness and what that meant for me and being able to tap into some of these things and so um, so with that said some of the things that I've been doing and that I honor and that I enjoy and love being able to do is um, hosting my women's circles and these women's circles are um, really important to me so I have locally I have my inner goddess circle and that is amazing and I have a wonderful group of women that participate hi Rochelle and so um, and it is it's really important and I'm glad that you agree with that so the um, and being able to connect with other women is something that is really really important to me which is why my my local inner goddess circle is brings that connection and we actually um, we support each other and we um, connect with each other and um, and our circle is um, and grows based on our needs so if something needs to shift or something needs to happen then we just kind of go with the flow and um, which is really great and so we have um, some older women we have some middle-aged women and we have some younger women that kind of come and go depending on what it is that we need and um, and who needs and so I have my my core group of women that come through the membership which I am uh, which I absolutely love and so last week I didn't get to do my circle because I wasn't well and so and I wasn't well um, there was a bug going around likely and but also because I was at wasn't actually tuning in to where I was at and I also did some energy work on myself over this last week and so with the energy work also come shifts in patterns and so these things happened and so I wasn't able to to be there and be part of it and so um, the other thing that I have is my online um, Grandmother Moon circle and so we actually work with the energy of Grandmother Moon and we do the teachings around Grandmother Moon and we connect with each other and so and I love that um, that being able to connect and so ancestrally through uh, with being Métis I've learned a lot about being connected to the moon and the energy cycles of the moon and so one of the things that um, that I've been able to learn as well is like how our energy shifts right so um, traditionally one of the things that I've always focused on is the full moon and so then I then I started shifting and then learning more about the new moon and so I would focus on the new moon and the full moon and so now I actually go through the full cycle so there's eight phases of the moon and so within those eight phases being able to shift and change and and trend and so so that's one of the other circles that I actually have and host and um, really enjoy being able to do that and that's a virtual circle and so um, as part of my inner goddess circle one of the other things that we do is a full moon circle around the fire um, except for that right now we can't have fires so um, but that will come back up again so when we can actually dance around the fire again um, but we still have our circle so we still had our circle last week uh, and we still sat in circle and we just didn't do our um, we just didn't do the fire part of our circle but we just adjust and we we do the other pieces that we can actually do and so um, the other thing that um, so quarterly one of the things that I have is that um, and I've just recently shared this information because the next circle is coming up uh, September 9th um, at 11 a.m. which is a Sunday and so um, it's called the healing Cir uh, journey healing journey circle and so our focus is on the mind so being able to tap into that mental aspect of those four components that I was actually talking about and so we're actually going to be focusing on um, our thoughts and how they play a role in 
our um, our well-being and that kind of thing and so um, we're going to be able to connect with ourselves within ourselves about those thoughts and how those thoughts actually um, interfere not interfere wrong, wrong word so well actually sometimes it can interfere so that they actually interact with our own um, with our own selves and um, and making space for unconditional love. So like that is their focus during that actual circle time. And so that is a quarterly circle that, um, that I bring together. And so with each one of the seasons and it is connected to the energy of the new moon. And so that is, um, so that's one of the other ways of being able to create that balance of being able to work with the seasons, the cycle of the full moon and being able to, um, to connect with our own cycles. And so with that, I also have, um, the, um, and these are these are the, our group. These are our group component things that I have going on. And so, and I also work with women individually who um, are able to connect within their themselves. And so, um, that may or may not want to be part of the um, one of the circles. But we actually get to do things on their own, and we actually get to explore the things that are actually going on for them, and what's happening, and what's coming up. And some of the women that I actually work one-on-one -on -one with are also women that I actually work uh, or that are actually part of my circles and so just being able to connect um, with other women and being able to tap in and being able to understand that the things that we're actually going through we're not alone and that we're not some kind of weirdo even though in our circle we actually kind of laugh about that and joke around how um, how sometimes we uh, people think that we're a little bit uh, quirky from some of the things that we're doing but it's being able to 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 tap into ourselves in it to our inner in our inner into our inner selves and really just being able to be who we are and connecting with ourselves and so if um any of those circles are interesting to you then um just shoot me a message and i will be um and i'll love to share the information i will send i will add the link to specifically for the um healing journey circle and so one of the things that I can't wait to happen um, coming this fall, though, is the um, our uh, Nurture Your Inner Child um, Women's Retreat. And so and that is fantastic. We have only 10 women that are actually going to be able to participate. Um, and out of the 10 women, we only have three spots left. So um, we are actually going to Mattawa to Nature's Harmony. And so at the at nature's harmony and really just being able to connect we really do have that huge strong connection within ourselves and um and with the women and so all of our meals are going to be prepared um we're going to have we have a place to stay uh, we all kind of help and chip up chip in to like help with like the dishes and like um all of our helping set the table and helping doing the final prep stuff but for the most part it's uh, all that stuff is already pre prepped and ready to go and it's just a matter of like kind of putting things together and so um and just being able to connect um connect with nature and one of the things that i like about being out at Ma in Mattawa is that uh, um that there is no internet there is no cell service we are completely surrounded by nature and the particular cabin that we actually stay at is really really cool but it has um it is kind of they, they have other cabins and they have other places um at nature's harmony but in this one here it's like kind of pushed away and you're surrounded by trees and you're kind of pushed away from all the rest of the hustle and bustle and the different things and so it is um just being able to go and just taking some deep breaths and just being there is just amazing. And so um, being able to connect that with the change of the season as part of the fall equinox, um, being able to tap into the full moon and full moon energy and being in sister circle is, um, is just an amazing experience and so if you've never had that experience and you're interested and you are in the northern Ontario region or that can travel up to northern Ontario and even if you're actually in the States <laughs> hey who cares right so um, but um, maybe a little bit uh, a little bit more challenging to come way up north but 
you're st certainly definitely welcome to be able to come. And so, um, so being able to do these things together and um, connecting, and I know that that is for me, being able to connect with the, um, with the women that are in my circle and the circles that Bridging the Gap has, or the ones that I'm actually in in different circles are extremely important for us to be able to have that connection. And so, um, so if you are not in a sisterhood circle, then I would strongly suggest that you actually reach out um, to different sisterhood circles, um, whether you join one of mine or whether you join um, some other sisterhood circles. Like these things are, it's important for us to be able to come together and support each other and to be there for each other and to be able to understand who we are and um, and know that we're not alone. And a lot of things that, um, and over the years, one of the things that I have noticed is that when I've worked with women is that um, oftentimes women will feel um, that they don't know if they should come into the circle because uh, if they can, should join the group or they should participate in these group kind of activities because like they don't really know anybody, their anxiety starts to kick in. And so one of the things that always happens is that by the time that we are done um, connecting and congregating each, with each other is that the connection and the relationships that are formed are amazing. And so a group of strangers comes together and, um, and, as they part, it is a cohesive group that actually leaves together, and so, um, so it's amazing. It is, uh, it is truly remarkable, truly amazing, and it is an experience that, um, that every woman should experience. And so, whether again, whether it is with one of my circles or one of um, somebody else's circles, it is something that you should really. Um, you should really participate in and join and so i want to say thank you on that note and i will see you guys next week with tiffany and so tiffany is actually going to share her story and so um so really looking forward to being able to do that interview with uh, with her next week but i wanted to hop on today like i said because of it being a civic holiday here in um in canada ontario in ontario canada and again a couple of other provinces but i don't really pay attention to which the holidays are in the other provinces and so um but uh but yeah, it is a holiday for us. And so really looking forward to getting back into the swing of things tomorrow and um, getting back to work. And one of the things um, that I'm doing this week that I'm really excited about is that on Wednesday and Friday is that I'm taking a couple of days off to be able to do some girl time with my sister who is on holidays. I don't get to see her much. She is three hours away and um, times just connect connecting and times don't always um connect and so and she also works a lot of hours and so really looking forward to being able to spend some time with her and being able to take some time out in nature and so we are going to a couple of lakes one on wednesday and one again on friday and um, she's doing that all week she's actually going into northern ontario um, lakes all week she's driving from one lake to the other and so um, packing a lunch and doing hiking or whatever, whatever it is that she needs to do, whatever it is that kind of comes to her as she's there and just doing some meditating and some connecting and some grounding and just rejuvenating. So just being able to be able to connect with that nature and just being able to just be. And so I am thankful that she's actually invited me to be part of this um, for a couple of days this week. Um, she did ask for a few more days, but unfortunately I already had plans. And so um, then, uh, so otherwise I would have loved to be able to take the whole week off to be able to do that. But I will be taking Wednesday and Friday to do that with my sister. And then on Sunday have some really exciting um, plans happening. And so on that note, I will talk to you guys all later and bye for now.